So have you ever heard of a word called contraction alkalosis? I'm sure you have, whether you're in the hospital taking care of patients or you're taking the USMLE. So when do I think about this? The classic example of someone who comes in in heart failure. But don't get me wrong, you could have it if you are a cirrhotic or you have nephrotic syndrome secondary to some kidney damage. And the reason why we see it in these individuals, because where is all the fluid volume in these individuals? Is it in the vessel? You know it's not there. Where is all the fluid? It's in that third space. So inside the vessel, it almost is kind of like they're dehydrated. So when you have horrible, horrible CHF, you know, and you come in and you're exacerbating, you're short of breath, you can't lay, you can't lay down flat, how do we treat acute CHF exacerbation? Give me one drug, one category of drug. Oh, you're, you're, you're amazing. That's right, a loop diuretic such as furosemide, known as Lasix. And when you do the right thing to make the patient feel better, the next morning you check some labs and you know what happens to that serum bicarbonate? It goes up because they're now alkalotic. So how do they get this contraction alkalosis? Is because how does these loop diuretics make patients feel better? Because we want to reduce the volume of blood. And remember, blood volume is made of two main things. One is plasma and the other is the cells of the blood. And when we talk about the plasma, who could tell me right now what is the major constituent of the plasma? That's right. It's not protein. It's water. So if you take out the water, what happens to total blood volume? It goes down. And all of a sudden, in someone who had very limited volume in the vessel to begin with, it becomes contracted after you do the right thing. So how does the bicarb go up? Who can tell me that? It's because when less volume goes to the kidney, there is less volume going to each individual nephron. And one of my favorite things in each nephron is called the JG apparatus. What does that stand for? Juxta glomerular. And right there, of course, we have our JG cells, and they secrete my favorite enzyme in the whole world, which is what? Renin. renin. And what does renin do? It activates angiotensin to angiotensin 2, which eventually activates who? You got it, aldosterone. aldosterone. Now here's the punchline. What does aldosterone do in the kidney? Yeah, you know, you're right, you're right. You do retain a little sodium, but what do you dump out in the urine? Sure, potassium, and what else? Hydrogen, hydrogen ion. ion. Now as you start dumping out hydrogen ion, you become what? That's right alkalotic. And that's how you de develop this contraction alkalosis by doing the right thing in treating someone with CHF when you give a loop diuretic. That is my clinical and basic science pearl of the day. If you like that and you want more pearls, check out my website beyondthepearls.net. There's a podcast, there's some books, there's some free videos. That's right, free videos. So I hope you check them out.